Securing Bravo. Spy plane ready for deployment. Howdy, howdy, guys. This is Echo 65. Hello, hello, everybody. And before I begin, I have something for you that's not quite a thought experiment, but it's kind of along the same lines. A little, do a little thinking up in your heads. A little bit. So this works a little bit better if you're standing up, but you can do it sitting down. I'm not gonna force your hand or anything. You can do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want. Uh, but you know, you're bored, or you know, after you watch this video, maybe, perhaps. Uh, so okay. What I want you to do? Look down at the ground, at the floor, wherever you may be, the the soil, the little flower garden, wherever you are. So look down, and just imagine, just imagine a little camera over your shoulder that's also looking down at the ground you and the camera both looking down at the ground then imagine that camera taking off slowly backing up further and further and further and further away back into space that's kinda locked in orbit with you you know you're going along you can see you can kinda see through the camera so you see yourself down on earth but then that camera stops going with you and you just keep going so the camera stays stationary where it's up in the sky and you just keep going and do you know how fast you are going every moment while you're on earth you're going over a thousand miles per hour just fast you, know, you think you're going in fast car you know just speed along a thousand miles per hour okay you get a little slower as you go further from the equator but a thousand miles per hour mind-boggling like right now as I'm recording this so I, I live in Ohio, so I'm not quite a thousand miles per hour. I'll call it a 700 miles per hour. You know, maybe, maybe 600 miles per hour. Right now, as I'm sitting here right now, I'm, I'm like speeding by, man. I'm going the speed of freaking sound here. It's crazy. Another fun little application of that knowledge of how fast you're going is when you're like sitting down or you're laying in bed. Find out which way from you is east and just concentrate. Just, you know, don't have anything on. Just. Concentrate, do a little, little um, little meditation, or whatever you want to do, and just see if you could feel the rotation just as you just speeding by. So once again, this is Echo 65, and this is a, a jungle domination game, ground war style, 9v9. Uh, usually, usually one of my favorite uh, game type and map combinations, but lately not as much because I don't know what it is about jungle. Uh, I don't know if it's fortifications on the A and the C flags, but Jungle seems to be a map where people are very uh, prone to just giving up and just camping their spawns and their flags. Especially, like, I, I prefer the enemies to be at A, and then I go over to A, and, like, there's the little, little box, a little archway with the boxes on A, and the little village and another little... Um, barrel or something on the left and people just head glitch those for days and if they're not there they're in the little ruins and the rocks head glitch in that and it's like come on at least give an effort do something try like you're not gonna do anything good back there you're just making the game slow and boring <sighs> I'm sorry I fell asleep there just thinking about it god seriously if you're gonna sit there and not do anything just quit out please please pretty please Please put out if you're gonna do that, please. So that concludes my the, the complaints part of my little talk today. Uh, I'll try to steer away from that right for now and try to get to my actual topic. Maybe we'll see how I do with this. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, with a topic being uh, individuality. Uh, it's a little bit of a broad topic now, isn't it? Uh, but I was I was listening to Smodcast, which one of my favorite podcasts. Uh, I think it's up. That comes out like every Monday. Uh, I say there's a big Harry Potter episode that I skipped that just came out. If you guys watch or read Harry Potter, you'll check that one out. It's pretty humorous. I didn't like I said I didn't listen to that one, but I imagine it's pretty funny. Go check that out if you're into that. But yeah, I'm gonna play you a little clip here that got me thinking about the topic uh, before I move on. That's the belief that beyond death, who you are will remain constant. 
constant because the physical part isn't what people are talking about. Like you no longer retain any of the physical aspects of yourself. I guess it's just like your consciousness. Human, human arrogance kind of dictates the uh, we fetishize individuality. Like, wow, yeah. no, we have to be able to live because I, you know, I'm unique. We're all different snowflakes and shit like that. But I'm sure if you got right down to it, like even in the bug kingdom, there's a bunch of every ant is individual as well. But, you know, you don't hear them griping about like, no, I can't <laughs> die because I'm fucking special. They all work for one common goal and shit like that. So the overall point being made, like primarily by Scott Moser there in that segment was how valuing and fetishizing and uh, the desire to preserve one's individuality is why people believe in religion because Scott Moser he's not quite quite into that but I'm, I'm not going to go into that I'm not going going to go into a big religion talk like the thing that like struck me uh, about the whole conversation they were having is just the power of individuality and what it means to me and what it means to others and what people in general will do to preserve and to protect that individuality and then beyond that you turn the TV on and you watch any type of advertisements advertisements um, you watch any for a little while you will find ones that target specifically trying to target tell you you are an individual I think it's um State Farm or there's I'm pretty sure it's State Farm where you know it's like you're not a policy number you're not a number you're a person you're Steve you're John and I, I I can't think of any other good examples right now. I'm a little tired, but yeah, all over the place. You know, people trying to lock in, sink into that, and use that. Now I'm not trying to say that is a good thing or is a bad thing, because advertisers have to advertise to something. They have to make you want to buy that product. Just you know, it's just good to take that into account. Like when you see something that's targeting that, just like when you see like um, you know half naked, you know, lady, you know, standing by a mailbox with the the flag up, you know, trying to sell you gamefly, you recognize things that are going on do you you know, in front of you, see what they're trying to do and just recognize the influence that has over you. And like, um Yeah, I I I did a thing on that like a while ago in school, like sexuality and advertisements and how like, you know, little things like that affect you and, you know, you know, seeing through this whole thing, you know, individuality you know, kind of the same effect, you know, because other than your physical body, like, all you have, realistically, that's all you have, is you have your physical body, your physical self, and your individuality, who you are. That's two things you have, and you always have. But yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's just a fascinating subject to me, you know, just how, on one hand, you know, individuality and, you know, someone with strong personality... You know, come rise up. They can, you know, become president. They can unite two different groups. You know, they can fend stuff. You know, bring people together. You know, all that just power of a single person. You know, and at the same time, there are six billion people on the planet. And you know what they're doing? They're all rotating around the Earth, friggin' thousand miles per hour. And yeah, you know, in the same breath, you know, at the individual level, you know, so important. And, you know, at the same time, so inconsequential. I don't know. Little, yeah, a little interesting. Uh, one more thing I'm going to link to in the description. Uh, I read an article on Ars Technica, I think a week and a half ago it was. Um, it was about, like, fanboyism and how people with, uh, like, such a strong connection to certain brands. Like, say somebody's, like, really attached to Apple. They have, you know, iPod, iPad, i i this i that they have everything you know they're just addicted to apple and you know somebody like attacks their brand or their brand isn't doing very well like they take that as a personal attack on their own self-image and their individuality <laughs> i don't know it's pretty interesting i'll link it in the description if you guys want to read it reading is good for you some occasionally occasionally trust me life isn't all youtube but yeah, uh, leave me a comment, give me a suggestion for a commentary in the future, because I'm a little iffy on coming up with these things myself, and I will <clears throat> see you next time.